Now, let's try to uh, look at uh, one example that is corresponding to a standard Brownian motion. So, we know that uh, in case of a standard Brownian motion, B0 equal to 0. And uh, the increments follow a standard normal distribution. Right? Now, using this, if I want to know what is the probability that B2 means the value of this process at time 2 takes a positive value. Probability that the B2 is greater than 0. Now, in terms of increment, I could very much write B2 as B2 minus B0. And we know that B2 minus B0 will, form, uh, will follow a kind of a normal distribution with a mean 0 and variance T minus S, 2 minus 0, variance 2. So, B2 is going to follow a normal distribution with a mean 0 and variance equal to 2. So, because the mean is 0, there is an equal probability that uh, the value is positive and value is negative. So, directly I could say that the probability that the B2 is greater than 0 is equal to half. The same will be the case for any. The probability that B3 is greater than 0 is also half. The probability that B10 is greater than 0 is also half itself. Because uh, there is an equal chance that the value would be either greater than 0 or less than 0. But sometimes the, the, the numerical could be slightly tricky. Find the probability that the B2 <coughs> will lie between what is the chance that the B2's value will lie between let's say minus 2 and plus 2. Right? Uh, so, such kind of scenarios. What is the probability that uh, B2 will lie between minus 2 and plus 2? If that's the case, what is that I am looking at? Probability that minus 2 is less than B2 less than plus 2. Now, we know that B2 follows a normal distribution with a mean 2 and a mean 0 and a variance of 2. So, if I am doing the normalization of it, converting this uh, B2s into a standard normal distribution, I could very well divide. See, I, I could have uh, taken x minus mu by sigma. So, it is as good as saying minus 2 minus 0 by sigma, which is the standard deviation. I divide it by square root of 2. What is the chance that this lies between... 2 minus 0 divided by square root of 2. So, minor probability that it lies uh, between the, the standard normal distribution. Here we are talking of B2 minus uh, 0 divided by uh, sigma, which is nothing but this is going to become B2 minus 0 by sigma is typically uh, going to become uh, the phi the standard normal distribution. So, minus root 2 between uh, the standard normal distribution and uh, less than square root of 2. Now, what I am seeing is this is containing almost the entire space because phi of, phi of minus root 2 and uh, I am looking at uh, the, this part is coming out as uh, phi of minus root 2 and this part is coming out as phi of root 2. So, I could uh, find out uh, the phi of root 2 as well as phi of minus root 2. And uh, based on that, I could uh, work out the probability part. Let us see what it uh, works out to. So, when I am looking at uh, phi of 
uh, square root of 2. I am putting it uh, as norms inverse square root of 2. Sorry, norms test square root of 2. So coming out to 0.921, right? So the uh, pi of uh, root 2 is coming out to 0.921 <coughs> and pi of minus root 2 will come out as the difference, 1 minus 0.921. So probably 0 0.08. Now I want the value lying between these two, which means the probability is 0 0.92 minus 0 0.08, giving it an 84% chance. So, the, the, the probability that uh, uh, the B2 will take a value between minus 2 and plus 2 is going to be somewhere around 84%. Right? Now, if at all I want to find out what is the probability that both B1 is positive as well as B2 is positive. Then I could have written the same probability that B1 is greater than 0 and B instead of B2, I'll write it as B2 minus B1. I subtract minus, uh, I subtract B1 from both the sides. I could write it as B1 greater than 0 and B2 minus B1 greater than minus B1. So well, from here, I'm talking about uh, both B1 should be positive. And uh, the difference between B2 and B1 should be greater than minus B1. Both these rules should satisfy. Which means, and both of them now, this is a following a normal distribution, this is following a normal distribution and both are independent. B1 minus B0, this one is B1 minus B0 and this one is B2 minus B1. Both of them are independent. So, the probability, the cumulative is something which uh, I would uh, try to get. The joint, uh, the joint uh, distribution uh, function I could very well express as a product of their individual density function. So, here I will find out the probability directly. So, with respect to uh, B1, I will say that uh, it is 0 to infinite. Whereas, with respect to uh, B2 minus B1, I'll take it uh, as minus B1 to infinite. And uh, probably I'll uh, take it uh, as pi of B1. And uh, I'll take it as pi of B2 minus B1. Now when I'm uh, trying to uh, integrate it, uh, I could uh, very well uh, get, uh, probably if I am looking at integrating this part first, all, probably I could have assumed that B1 equal to X and B2 minus B1 probably as Y. If that's the case, this gets simplified to 0 to infinite minus X to infinite pi of uh, X pi of Y dx dy. Now, I'll try to do the integration with respect to y. So, it becomes 0 to infinite. So, pi of x will remain as it is and pi of y dy. So, I would uh, take uh, the integral. <coughs> integral of phi is the density function is the distribution function. So, it comes out as pi of y, this gets integrated between infinite and minus x. So, in a normal distribution curve, if this is minus x, minus x to infinite, right, this is as good as uh, I could have uh, taken it as pi of x into 1 minus of pi of minus y or minus x when I am putting it. So, this is uh, nothing but phi of x. So, I am taking integral 0 to infinite phi of x into phi of x dx. 
now we are talking of a uh, kind of an integral uh, whose derivative so probably uh, we know integral uh, uh, integral uh, u of x u dash of x dx if it is of that form so i am directly uh, taking it uh, as uh, uh, the the integral of this so this is uh, what i am uh, taking here this uh, comes out as half pi of x squared because when i take the derivative of it it becomes uh, 2 into half pi of x into pi of x dx which comes out exactly the solution for this uh, integral is going to be this much half pi of x uh, whole square integrated between infinite and 0 so when I am integrating this uh, pi of x for infinite this is going to be 1 and pi of 0 is going to be half so overall comes out to half multiplied by 1 minus uh, 1 by 4 half multiplied by 3 by 4 working out to 3 by 8 so some such kind of uh, numericals in case they are going to uh, crop up we need to be uh, comfortable enough in terms of uh, expressing them in forms of uh, uh, independent kind of uh, variables uh, independent uh, kind of uh, processes and uh, based on that uh, their uh, joint uh, their uh, their joint density function i can very well uh, express it as a part of uh, the product of individual uh, uh, density uh, functions uh, because of the independence that is existing between the two and uh, using that as the base i could do the integration and try to arrive at uh, the you know, try to arrive at uh, the calculation uh, for the probability that uh, both the processes are taking a positive value as well right